people of the internet, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to explore Ruta de las Flores uh, here in El Salvador, which is pretty much uh, a whole bunch of scenic towns, small, small little towns, a thousand, two thousand people, uh, located in a beautiful, I wouldn't call it a national park, but more of a, uh, you know, lush green forest. Uh, you know, some of the towns here are uh quite quite old you know hundreds of years old they're very very small again and uh you know the the road that leads to all the towns kind of passes through this forest that's the reason and uh, it's called ruta de los flores and it has a whole bunch of uh, you know palm trees and a whole bunch of other greenery stuff uh, all around it you know flowers as well not as much at least i have not seen as much uh, in order to actually uh, pinpoint the name exactly because of the flowers, you know, it might be in different seasons and, and all that. But either way, you know, uh, let's see exactly what the towns have to offer right now. I just made it to the first one, which is called a taco. Uh, yeah, a taco, a taco. Uh, funny name, yeah. And then I'm gonna go probably to two more. Uh, I'll see exactly the last bus leaves to Santa Ana on. Yeah, four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock. So, uh, you know, I kind of have to uh, get the, let me increase the exposure here a little bit. Yeah, the last bus leaves at four o'clock. So I kind of have to finish all my stuff until then. But let's see exactly what a taco has to offer first. I know it's known for its murals, you know, a whole bunch of people uh, painted their houses, uh, you know, with a whole bunch of uh, designs, cartoons, and so on. So let's see exactly after a long, long introduction, let's explore the city. So just made it to uh, Mirador de la Cruz, the lookout point here in the city of uh, Ataco, you know, uh, you know, small little city. I knew uh, it's gonna be very, very small, but uh, you know, supposedly the murals are worth visiting. So, uh, you know, just stopped here first to kind of see exactly, you know, uh, the expansion of the city and uh, probably gonna head towards the cathedral right there and then kind of do, uh, you know, a few back and forth between, uh, between the main streets and uh, see where the murals are, you know, supposedly they're all over, but we'll find out. There's a little church that they have in the corner, right beside the Mirador, the lookout point. Showed you guys here in a little bit while I turn around. But this is the this is one of the main streets of the city that leads to the park. That's the church, white and blue. And somewhere right there in the back, there's the Mirador, the lookout point. So this is where the murals uh, seem to start. And uh, from what I was told, uh, you know, at one point they had a competition and a whole bunch of people, you know, uh, painted their houses. Uh, you know, not, not sure exactly what the final purpose was, uh, but it became very, very popular. And uh, nowadays you pretty much just have to ask for permission. And, uh, you know, you can paint pretty much whatever you want on your house. This is the main church that I showed you guys from the lookout point. Let's take a look inside and see how it looks. It looks like it has a low ceiling, very similar to some of the other churches we have seen here. So there's no specific indication of where the murals are, so you just have to walk pretty much uh, <laughs> pretty much in the whole town and then you'll find, you know, a whole bunch of stuff, you know, some of them related to what the building actually represents, you know, like a lot of stores painted, uh, you know, fruit, vegetables and a whole bunch of other stuff, produce, you know, others here, looks like it's a kindergarten and they just uh, painted uh, some stuff related to that. You know, we have no idea what this is. It looks like it's the surrounding area. Here we have a pretty good one. 
showing the you know the city of Otago yeah and the Mirador I forgot to show you guys it does have a cross you know overlooking the city so here's another one probably uh, representing the people of the city during a festival or something like that all gathered in the center of the town you know playing music and feeding the chickens so far this is the largest uh, mural I have seen in the city showing uh, one of the churches, main street, houses, people, forest, houses, people again, more houses and so on and dogs of course. One thing that I have to mention here, uh, you know so far there are a lot of bees and wasps, you know there's definitely flowers somewhere, there are not that many in the town itself, at least here in Ataco. But there were a whole bunch of wasps and uh, bees, especially going up to the lookout point. So I was just passing by the city park and uh, guys, check out this tangled tree. Dear Lord, it's, it's fascinating that a tree could grow in a certain manner, you know, left, right, left, right. Here's a mural, probably representing uh, coffee farmers. And of course, someone had to uh, destroy the little guy's eyes. Okay, now here's an interesting one showing the people of the town, music, and all of a sudden, an alien. Okay, not sure exactly what's uh, the representation. So beautiful, so peaceful, and then boom, you show, uh, you show me an alien. of the day is Apaneka, maybe 10 minutes or so from uh, Ataco and uh, yeah, I'm here uh, at one of the main churches, probably the main church, you know, all painted in white and uh, they do have a maze here, a labyrinth, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go since uh, the last bus live, leaves at 3, the last town I'm going to and uh, right now it's 1 o'clock so don't have that much uh, time on my hand. This is how the church looks like inside. Again, we got used to the low ceilings, very modest, you know, uh, not many seatings. It looks like they have uh, chairs on the side for when uh, people do come to mass, but yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's colorful as well, the town, you know, way, way smaller. I've been walking, uh, you know, on just one side of it and, you know, like, over the end, so, you know, it's like pretty much turn left. There was uh, nowhere else to go, so probably not going to spend uh, too much time here. Here's a nice looking house with a whole bunch of vine uh, covered from head to toe. It looks like it's a hostel based on the sign, but yeah, it just uh, catches your attention immediately, no doubt. So a totally different vibe in this uh, little town, you know, it's quite, quite deserted. Very few people, very few vendors, very few, uh, you know, businesses in general. Either that or I'm not going the right, in the right spot. And probably one of the most remotest gyms I have seen. Atas Gym in Napateca. Okay, so do you guys have the impression that this uh, little house right here is just smiling at you? I don't know, I was just walking by and then I saw it and it's like, huh, I need to take a photo of that. I don't know, it looks like a happy little building to me. So definitely this town, uh, you know, deserves to be on uh, Ruta de la Flores. You know, there's flowers everywhere, you know, all kind of colors. Look at that, you know, definitely way more than uh, a taco. Got orange, purple, whatever colors, pink, blue, different shades of purple. Okay, so I think I may have found the maze I was talking about. Uh, walking into a different direction, I noticed, you know, uh, another hill with another, uh, you know, 
cut down forest into a shape and it looks like it's more zigzaggy than uh, the other one so yeah there is a maze so if you guys want to go there and have enough time i don't know if it's worth it or not but uh, yep found the maze that people were talking about video earlier but uh, I realized the sound of the waterfall that waterfall right there was actually was actually you know louder than my voice so I decided to take uh, another shot that way you guys can uh, actually hear what I'm saying so I'm gonna kind of turn around and show you guys the central park here you know it's a uh, quite quite uh, colorful uh, there's a lot of flowers a lot of trees the benches are painted you know turquoise red and you name it there's a big uh, church right there, uh, you know, white as well, like in the previous town that we saw. This is the waterfall, so I was shooting uh, right in front of it, and uh, the sound, uh, you know, was way over uh, my voice. But uh, yeah, they have a waterfall here too. I'm probably gonna go and catch a uh, tuk tuk uh, there and then one back in order to actually be able to make it to my bus in a timely manner they have one leaving at 4 3 30 or something like that but uh, yeah if i walk there which is just 30 minutes 30 minutes back 30 minutes uh, at the waterfall you know it might jeopardize uh, my my bus and uh, it's going to be very expensive to get back otherwise this is how the interior of the church looks like you know like many other ones it's kept very very simple nothing fancy you know uh, how many of the churches should be right especially in uh, certain countries around the world where there are other needs you know infrastructure wise health wise etc so i did decide to walk in the end at least one way because there's a bus leaving at four to Santa Ana not three so uh, that kind of gives me some time to actually see it by foot stop you know you never know when you find a little photo spot nothing so far mesmerizing it looks like it's just a path that was you know kind of you know carved you know you can see the the side is uh, you know tree roots and everything so it looks like it was specifically made in order to lead to the waterfalls Los Choros I believe they're called I think there's seven waterfalls and they're kind of close together it looks very very cool walking that way you know you have the volcano in the back uh, I think there are around seven volcanoes here one of them is Santa Ana the one that I climbed uh, the other day so guys I think this is the one I'm not a hundred percent sure I passed by another one, but uh, that one was, the trail was closed completely. This guy, this construction worker was trying to explain something to me. I have no idea what he said, but uh, you know, this will do, right, for now. <laughs> I got 30 more minutes until the bus shows up for Santa Ana. It's the last one at 4 o'clock, so a little bit lucky that uh, you know there still is one. I thought it was three. I wouldn't have made it, that's for sure. But uh, you know, got to see the waterfalls. You know, if it was worth it or not, you guys decide. You know, it's a nice little mix there on my side. You know, uh, after visiting a couple of deserted uh, towns. But uh, either way, you know. Uh, to make a little summary if it was worth it or not you know uh, if you do have time definitely if you don't have time you know it's definitely something that you don't have to put in uh, your itinerary 
uh, it's not gonna be one of those things that you're gonna say, man, I wish I did it. You know, it's gonna be, yeah, it was, uh, it was great, but you know, uh, you know, I was not able to make it. You know, great as well. So either way, till next time, guys. Take care. Gratitude should be the only attitude. Peace. Thank you.